The news absolutely thousands of you have been waiting for forever such a long time is finally here. You can now use the modified version of the DJI Fly app that enables FCC mode in CE countries so basically a much stronger signal is finally compatible with the DJI RC and RC2 screen controller. All the details coming right up. So one thing I have to mention from the very outset of this video, using this modified version of the DJI Fly app may result in you being in breach of the local laws and regulations. So with that disclaimer out of the way, why am I telling you all about this? Well, quite simply because here in the CE countries such as Europe, basically we get a much weaker signal from the controller to our drone. Now this basically means that obviously in high interference areas considered well within visual line of sight here in Europe under CE regulations, we can sometimes lose signal. And for me, from my point of view, providing you have got a much stronger signal, that is a much safer flight. Now basically a company has figured out how to enable um, the FCC mode, which is basically the high broadcasting power you get in the United States, um, basically in a modified version of the DJI Fly app, which basically enables that stronger signal here in Europe. Now I have shown how this can be hugely beneficial on a previous video, where I basically tested this version of the app using testing license from Ofcom, just to show um, just how much advantage this app and basically how much of a stronger signal you would get uh, by using uh, this FCC mode in a CE country. However, up until now, it has only been available by using the DJI RCN1 controller or RCN2 and a mobile phone. However, the creator of this app has put forward a couple of videos together, okay, which shows how you can use a combination of the app on your mobile phone to get it to work with the DJI RC2 and the RC screen controller. Now, I know absolutely thousands of you have basically been wanting this feature on the RC screen controllers because many of you use that option when you bought your DJI Mini 3 Pro, for example. So I wanted to bring you this video. Now, like I said, I take absolutely no credit for any of this. This is not something that I have figured out. This is basically me bringing you the news uh, that this is basically is now possible. And what I would to follow this intro with is the tutorial directly from the creator, which basically shows you exactly how to uh, get this process working for both Android and iOS. And if you want to go ahead and get this, of course, just follow uh, the instructions. The website is listed in the creator's video that I'm about to show you. But I just wanted to bring you this video because I know so many of my viewers have been waiting uh, for this quite eagerly. Like I say, just to reiterate, you could be in breach of local laws and regulations. But from my point of view, I just see it as if you have a stronger connection and you have control of your drone at all times, especially in high interference built up areas, that can only be a good thing. So I will leave you now with the tutorials for Android and iOS. Of course, please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, because this is coming at the beginning of the video, of course, if you did like it, give it a big thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm more people just like you may want to watch this video. Subscribe if you're awesome. And until next time, see you again soon.